This is Project Zomboid. A world filled with buildings, loot, zombies, and no other survivors. Where will you go? What will you do? How will you survive? Death rates around every corner. But you know you must fight to find food, supplies, and shelter. Your story ends in only one way. Okay, and we're back. Um, I just want to apologize if you hear a lot of clicking. Um, I don't know exactly how else to say it uh, because I guess I could maybe reposition the microphone a little bit better and the mic is somewhat above uh, the mouse, so I apologize about that. I'll work on getting it improved, but uh, anyways, Ryan Moore has found his place. And let's get, uh, we have, coming back from the previous episode, we've secured our uh, new home. And a few things we want to do is close the curtains and turn off the lights, the undead. No, don't, don't dig with hands. Turn off light. Thank you. Turn off. Turn on. Okay, that one's good. They broke in right there, so uh, we'll, we will work on fortifying that later. Uh, for now, let's put some of our food in. Always, I highly recommend putting any perishable in the freezer first, um, just because it will last a lot longer. And look at that, we, we are already hungry. Um, I do recommend cooking as quickly as possible. Uh, so we're, we're going to cook that TV dinner. Put the TV dinner in the oven. And now we're going to turn it on. Now while we... Uh, let's go through this stuff a little bit. Um, so this cabinet right here... Hey, there's another frying pan. Uh, we'll take this, um, there's the undead out there. Uh, so let's, there's a kitchen knife too. No, 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 no. That, no, that. Let's just drop that on the floor. I'm gonna uh, put our long-term food in here I'm gonna move we're gonna we're gonna get a little bit organized uh, just so just for now so we know where things are uh, so the saucepan when it comes to saucepans pots uh, anything that can hold water uh, and it already burnt but that's okay uh, I didn't think it was gonna burn that fast because we didn't speed time up um, how about we just cook some popcorn and let's watch let's be a little bit more careful this time Ryan is not used to cooking for himself he lives with his brother who does does most of the cooking and it is cooked so let's go ahead and eat this and voila we are no longer hungry do hear the undead outside, but it's not that big of a concern right now. Let's take this uh, stuff and get rid of it. I'm going to keep one frying pan in the oven at all times. Okay, what's in this cabinet? No, not that cabinet. This cabinet. So there's a water bottle. That's good. Another saucepan. Some honey. A little bit more food. We're going to move all that right here. Come on. We'll just drop that on the floor. How about right here? Here's some more food. Not going to worry about the other stuff. Cooking pot. Very useful. Take those cabbage seeds in case we uh, 
do some farming later. We'll see how far we get. I'm going to put this bowl in the oven too. Just because it will help us get our cooking up when we do stuff later. I'm going to remove all the food. Okay. There we go. That's burnt. Okay. So now I'm going to fill things up with water. And if you hear the dripping like that, that means there's water available. If there's no dripping, uh, that means the water is off for that uh, sink, tub, or, or tub. Yes, the tubs also make that noise too. And once the, uh, like once the water officially goes off, uh, it will, you have maybe a few uses Oh, there's another saucepan. You have a few uses where you can refill. Okay. So I'm going to save the bat for later. I want to put some nails in it. So let's just remove these. And put those cabbage seeds right here okay so let's see what else we have we also want to try to get some medicine too um let's turn this light off grab this sheet because this room is not really going to have a use anymore um there's some cotton balls that's good bath towel not in too important but it does help when it rains some beta blockers very nice that will help with our panic see that room is pretty much done <laughs> So there's some bookshelves. We can uh, put our books right there. We're not going to worry about these books for right now. Uh, let's put that sheet. Add sheet. Close curtain. Okay. This area. So the sheets are helpful so the zombies don't see you. Zombies sometimes have a pretty good vision. Um, there's also like a little closet right here. A little bit hard to see, but it's there. So let's drop the bat. Uh, the hammer will hang on to... For now. Oh, let's uh, drop one of these waters. Okay. Let's put this bath towel in this bag. Haven't found a backpack or a garbage bag yet. I think there was just a radio in here. Let's check these closets. Some books. No thanks. Sock and a pillow. Vest and a blouse. No thanks. Any medicine in here? A sheet? Uh, that's helpful. It's actually two sheets. Adhesive bastion, bandage. That's okay. Let's remove this sheet because, again, no, 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 no. Remove sheet. Remove curtain. Okay, yeah, we're, we're pretty much done from here. I want to get the bottom floor uh, taken care of. Nails, very important. I can actually make a spiked baseball bat right now, but I'm going to wait on doing that. Another box in hell is very nice. Okay, and we're pretty much done right there. Is this light off? Yeah, that light's off. Always keep the lights off. Let's add a sheet here. Close the curtain. Let's add a sheet here. Close the curtain. Okay. Uh, let's put. go ahead and put these uh, box and nails down. Right now it's going to be a little bit difficult with weight, just because we don't have a backpack or a garbage bag. Plastic bag only goes so far. We'll throw this uh, TV dinner out. Um, so right now, I mean, weight is definitely going to be a problem. Um, since we're a little tired from moderate exertion, let's take a break. Just go ahead and rest. Speed time up. I've been playing RimWorld for a little while and number two doesn't speed time up. Okay, we're getting a little tired. 
Uh, but we can take a peek. Let's just take a peek. It's a newspaper. We got some company right there. Let's go ahead and deal with this. Uh, we don't. Not really tired anymore. There's another one coming. Oh snap! Oh my gosh, she's a runner. Oh wow. Yeah. Let's take some beta blockers. That was close. Yeah, you are a naughty, naughty girl. Let's go ahead and pull back. Come on. Let's push him back, check our back. I need to get the runner first. The runners are what you have to be very, very careful of. No, 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 no. Dang, there's some more right there. It's okay, just take your time. We're not panicking. Got it. Good, good. All right, let's get him. Got him. Good, good. Check your back. Okay, we're not panicking. We're doing good. Ryan knows he got this. Ryan knows he has this. And she's gone. Ooh, that was... That, that one runner that came out of the woods, that, that was uh, that was very close. I've died so many times from... It's just that one angle. If they're, if they're off by just a hair, it could be game over. Just take your time. Alright, he's down. Let's get her. And she's down too. Definitely... Ryan definitely. Ryan knows he he wants to clear things out before going to sleep at night. He doesn't want to be disturbed by the undead trying to make him one of their own. See, there was one hiding. You sneaky, sneaky devil! No, sir, you cannot eat me. This could have been a person that Ryan knew in life or seen before. Just didn't remember their name. Sounds like there's one in the woods. It's just a... Nothing there? Okay. A little hungry. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to clear that out. A little bit at a time. Let's just pull them around here. I don't want to fight them all at once. Don't tell me that runner's already coming. This game, this game is like... Oh, there's crap. I thought there was one over here. Is there another one coming through those woods? Come on. See, when you're tired with the exertion, it reduces your damage significantly. I don't know if I picked that kitchen knife up, did I? No, but I will use these. It is kind of like a instant hit, instant kill, I mean. Crap, that's two runners. Ay. Runners, runners, runners. I don't, I don't trust using the the knife, the butter knife on this. That right there is how you get killed. Two runners. When you get confident like that, two runners, you game over. Okay. Let's go ahead and just try to use these butter knives. They are kind of like a one-hit kill. Even though it is crap. Jeez, I don't want to pull all of them like that. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, one more. Butter knife, ladies and gentlemen. Don't under 
underestimate it. The knives are really, really good for clearing out areas quickly compared to melee weapons. I think we're going to be in the clear now. A little hungry, so let's eat. Uh, we'll just see what's, what kind of food's over here. Actually, actually, no, we're not tired. We're not tired yet. When we start to see drowsy, it was up there earlier, but it disappeared. This light off because even even though this is not our base we're going to be our base we don't want to draw on un, any unwanted attention oh crap no whoa Woo. man man weird the rolling pin looks like the baseball bat didn't look like that before nice and easy kill panicking a little bit but we should be just fine good no alarm oh and we just hit drowsy and this person it's kind of hard to see but there's a lot of bleach bottles right there there's a dead body, so this person drank bleach. It's a sad way to die. Um, we're going to grab whatever food we can. No, don't don't get this thing silly. Uh, another frying pan. We're not going to grab that since we already have one. It's not that big of a concern right now. We'll grab the saucepan, though, just to start stocking up on water. TV dinner, some more popcorn, a hammer, I'm definitely going to pick up a fork, um, also a fork, you can do one hit kills similar to the kitchen knife, and uh, what is it, another rolling pin, I'm going to grab the rolling pin because it helps increase our, um, Just it's just something to use to practice on. Uh, with increasing our uh, blunt accuracy. Blunt accuracy, uh, that increases our damage and also our accuracy. Okay. Spoons. I think spoons do one-hit kills, but I don't know. It just seems kind of dumb. Haha. <laughs> Kitchen knife. We do have a garbage bag right now. I don't know why I'm not using it. We are going to grab all the garbage bags, though. And there's some pepper. Pepper is very handy for cooking. Uh, farming for beginners, definitely like that. Let's uh, secure this little area first. That was actually a mistake that I just did. I should have secured the area. Uh, these headphones are weird. <laughs> uh, it's my, I'm using my Bluetooth headphones. I, I have my um, Razer Tiamats on top of my desktop. I just don't want to use them right now. Uh, but it, it sounds so weird. Compared to the um, seven. Ooh, a school bag. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's grab the sheet. Another sheet. Nice. No no house alarm either, so that's handy. Is there, is there a zombie in here? No, there's not. Another hammer. Adhesive tape. That's nice. I'm going to go ahead and start collecting hammers too because I, I want to build up on blunt accuracy as much as possible. Be very, very careful going upstairs. Could be a zombie right around the corner. This is not an area Ryan is familiar with. Confidence. Uh, just, just like what Matt says, confidence will kill you in this game. I didn't really, when I got, oh, we look at that duffel bag. Oh, yeah. Let's, um, 
I didn't really believe that at first when I started playing uh, Project Tomboy, but Mathis was definitely right. Confidence will will kill you every time in this game. When you get too comfortable, uh, we're going to make this school bag our secondary, and there we go. Okay, that was that was nice. That was a good find. Anything in the school bag? No, there's not. Okay, nice, nice. Let's uh, grab this sheet. Remove curtains. Any any medicine? Uh, there's some tweezers. Guess we could take those. No zombie in here. Another sheet though. That's handy. We're a little overweight right now, but that's. Well, actually, over by, we're overweight by like a lot, but that's that's okay. Um, we're practically like right beside our place, and if we have to, we'll just drop some stuff real quick. So that's it for this house. We don't want to sprint. Not at night while you know we're this tired and everything. Is this light off? Yeah, the light's off. This light is on. Come on. Turn light off. Okay. If it was during the day, you know, we had plenty of rest, we, we would sprint. Uh, but not not right now. Not while we, uh just not just before we go to sleep. Okay. Let's cook something up. Do another TV dinner. Turn it on. Is it gonna cook? Come on. Yeah, it's cooking. I don't know why that cooked so much last time. It cooked like super fast. Turn off. This is not going to help our happiness very much, uh, but that's okay. So let's um, get rid of some stuff real quick just before we go to bed. We don't want to go to bed uh, with all this weight on top of us. We can drop a lot of stuff. I'm going to drop those hammers. Drop that kitchen kitchen knife too. I don't I don't exactly need it. I want to go through these um rolling pans and uh, frying pan first. We got drink. We need sleep. We have too much weight. Wait, what? Why is this kitchen knife here? Oh, I'll do that. Uh, let's drop that. Put this food right here. Put the um, pepper on top of the oven. Get rid of that book. And that should help our weight out a little bit. If you bear too much weight in this game, it will do damage to you. I suppose the very last thing we could do before we go to sleep is add some sheets. We don't want to leave any hint that someone is here. Add sheet. Close curtain. There's one more right here. Close curtain. So, like, right now we have tired exertion. Yeah, that's very, very dangerous. Really, we do not. Ryan knows he is too tired right now to fight. So, this is going to be our first night in our house. 
Hopefully, uh, we don't get any intruders or disturbances. And we made it. It's our first night. We made our first night. Project Zomboid. We're going to end it here. Go to another house. We'll see you next time.